Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow. For whenever it resonates with you, uh, this is just a daily energy that I pick up on. It may or may not be for you. These tend to resonate with whoever needs them the most, okay? Um, so yeah, let's just see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and we're going to use one of those as well. Then we're going to use this deck right here. I am booking out to March 20th for readings, so if you would like to get on the schedule, um, feel free to send me an email. I, you know, I was, yesterday it was March 18th, so I've already filled up 18th and the 19th. They fill up pretty fast, so if you want a reading, you know what to do. Um, if, um, hmm, anything else? Nope, don't think so. Okay, so let's see what we got. What do we got? What do I need to talk about today? Son of a gun! If this card doesn't come out constantly, I don't know what was. Almost in all of my March readings, not all of them, but a, the majority, this card has come out. It came out for Scorpio. It came out for Taurus. It came out for Capricorn right in the beginning, right here, the very first card. So I think it came out for somebody else too, but I know that it came out for Taurus and Scorpio and Capricorn. So, you know, there, that could be a... a scenario right there you know um, but anyway this is a passionate new start this is a new beginning this is a new spark it's a new flame it's a new partner it's a, this could be a new sexual partner whatever it is this is a instant attraction okay this is a very attractive uh, opportunity okay there's a there's potential for a passionate new beginning here now with who we don't know but we're gonna dive in and see what happens You know, Scorpio had this as well, and Taurus, because I, I did the Scorpio March reading today, and it mentioned a Taurus, and I happened to be looking through my videos, and I noticed that Taurus had this one too, so there's definitely a Scorpio and a Taurus that are getting together. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from, but anyway, have faith, have trust. Listen to your inner guide, no matter who you are, it doesn't matter what sign you are, have faith, have trust. You could be dealing with, this is a Taurus, by the way, but anyway, um, believe, believe, that's what this card means. Believe in new beginnings, okay, because there's a new beginning here. This is a passionate new start, period, with whoever. With somebody for somebody it's a time of growth rest and rejuvenation I think it's over I think that period of rest and rejuvenation is over. You notice that 1 plus 9 equals 10, which is completion. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I think that the, the, your time of solitude is just about over. <laughs> I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And, I mean, 10 converts to a 1. We got another 1. So we got an 11 here. We got a 1 and a 1. So two people are coming together by the looks of things. That's what I think. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Anyway, that's what it looks like to me. Happiness. Something is coming together. So let's just see what else we can get. And it's almost like there's some sort of explosion, okay? There's some sort of explosion of passion. <laughs> what do we got for the upcoming energy? Somebody's been delayed. Somebody's been stalled. It's like they couldn't master their emotions and they didn't have faith. Somebody has been letting fear get in the way. 
you got to replace that fear with faith, and that is no joke, okay? So somebody has been stuck. Maybe there's been a lack of discipline. There's been a lack of willpower. A loss of direction. But maybe they've received some sort of answer from above, okay? Maybe through their inner guide, whatever, through solitude, and now it's time to come out of this period? I don't know. Let's find out here. Woo! Son of a gun, the high priestess reversed. There's been a repression. Somebody has gone through some sort of repression, you know, some sort of uh, need to be alone, put it that way. Definitely um, has lost their will their you know had been through a period where they lost their 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 faith they lost their ability to move forward stuck loss of self that's you know but i think that period is over i do oh two of swords Somebody's been blocking their emotions. But I think they're unblocking them now because you see the swords are open. She's no longer protecting herself. Okay, she's starting to break free of those old thoughts. So that's what's happening here. Somebody has been through a repression. Somebody has been feeling alone, allow, keeping themselves alone, you know, in that period of solitude willfully. And it's because they didn't have the willpower to move out of it. You know, they were going through some sort of like... It's almost like an inner transformation with it where they had to be alone to, you know, find that faith again, to listen, you know, to go within to listen. And anyway, it looks to me like we have somebody here that is in the process of making a decision to break free of that old mentality, whatever that old mentality was. I think that um, there's a difficult decision that needs to be made, whether you want to put in effort, whether you want to work harder, or whether you just want to walk in a new direction, whether you want to stay put or not, you know, endings, death, so we have, a, we have an ending here ending of a difficult time endings bring new beginnings looks like somebody is escaping okay somebody is escaping hold on let me just turn that off um some this is i mean if you think about this it does it looks like see she's escaping she's she's getting out while the getting still good so um Anyway, so somebody is trying to escape something. It looks like they need to get out at this time for a reason. Um, maybe they're just not in love. Maybe somebody has come to the realization that this isn't meant to be. This isn't. This isn't uh, going to grow any. Grow into anything. It's not going to go anywhere. So I need to let it end. You know, it looks like this this person has decided to to make a serious cut. You, you look at that. I mean, somebody is making a, it's it's a big deal. A very big deal and I think that they're doing it because they know that it is time it's time for a transformation you know I'm gonna have to turn this phone off I mean I'm sorry I got somebody that's really after me here I don't know if you can hear that buzzing um, and that's funny that I said that I'm gonna have to turn this right off and that's kind of like what this is turning it off it's like turning something off it's over ending it ending it once and for all so, um, I think that's what we got going on here. I think that somebody is um, ending something because it's time to begin again. It's time to start over. It's time for this transformation. Remember I said somebody was trying to go through a transformation or they were going through an inner transformation and they had to do it alone. And I think that, that it's over now. It's over. That time of solitude is over. It's over. So, I feel like we have a major new beginning here because with endings bring new beginnings. So... I think that somebody is deciding that I'm going to put my hard work, I'm going to put my effort into starting over in a new direction. I'm, I'm going to leave behind the, the situation that I am not in love with anymore. I'm leaving that behind. I'm just not in love with it, right?
I'm just gonna have to go put my phone out in the other room. I do apologize. I don't. I can't deal with it right now. Sorry, I just threw it out out there. I can't hear the buzzing, and I'm not gonna take time to mess with it. Um, my apologies. Somebody has been thinking about something, really thinking about leaving a situation, but not taking action for some reason. I think somebody has been wanting to fly away. They've been wanting to leave, but they couldn't find the willpower to do it. Perhaps they were too committed to it. You know, very, very, very committed, and they just didn't um, have the emotional capacity to break free for some reason. Somebody could not master their emotions to break free from something that was holding them back. And I think they knew for some time that they had to, they had to, but they couldn't. And it was time to move on. I mean, with the chariot car, it was time to move on, but they couldn't move on because they couldn't master their emotions to do so. But now it's like, I can't avoid this truth anymore. I can't block this truth. It's time to make this cut. It's time to make this stressful decision to put my time and energy into a new beginning. So, um, Ooh, the five of swords has been a constant battle. It's been a constant struggle. It's been a it's been a, a lose lose situation, you know, where you can't you can't win no matter what. It's been there's been a painful situation here where it, it has really been overwhelming. It has it's been there's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of power struggles, and I think that no matter what you do, you know, you're you're up against too much, and somebody has realized that no matter what I do, I, I can't win in this situation. So it really is time. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to leave. If it's not going to fulfill me, it's time for me to cut this out of my life and, and head and, and head towards, you know, the direction of my heart's desire. Um, somebody is giving up. Somebody is giving up on a situation they held on to for nine of wands reversed. I, I don't have any more strength to hold on to this. Seriously, I mean, I, I, I don't, I can't pretend anymore. This has turned my life upside down for long enough. I have no more ability to even fight for, for something that is such a struggle. <laughs> Going my own way. Somebody is deciding to go their own way. That's what this is. They're closing a door. They're closing a door. We have closure here. Because they've been in a situation that was dishonest. They were in a situation that was untruthful. There was there was lies. There was deception. There was lack of communication. And I feel like they, they had to do the right thing. Now they're after me on Facebook. Let me close this. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Anyhow... It looks as though we have a major completion here. Something is ending that because somebody has decided that it is time to go. It's time to go. I can't I can't deny the truth as as much as I've wanted to deny the truth for so long. You know, the truth is is out. The truth is out and I think that somebody has been hiding the truth, keeping it to themselves, you know, because they didn't want to face their fears they couldn't find the mental strength you know to follow their heart but it comes to the point where it's either do or die right it's either that's what this is it's either do or die and it's like I gotta go I gotta go I gotta go because you know I'm more abundant on my own than being trapped in a situation that is a lie so I feel like we have somebody here that is making a stressful painful decision to end something that was a lie because they'd be better off on their own it's like I gotta go my own way I believe in myself it's time for me to follow my own path you know 
because I, I see that I have this new vision, I have this new desire, I'm going to take this new approach, I have this new desire for something more passionate than this. So I feel like we have somebody that has been thinking about leaving a situation that was um, holding them back. There was too many power struggles, there was too many conflicts, um, you couldn't win no matter what you did, it was a constant battle, and somebody was like, you know what, I can't pretend that this is ever going to change, I'm giving up the fight, I'd rather be alone, I'd be just fine on my own, I want to enjoy life, I've got this new vision, I've got this new desire, I need to take a break, I need to do what i got to do for myself so that I can come together with my perfect match, okay, because... That's what's going to happen here. Somebody is doing what they had the right thing after, you know, being stuck in a situation that was going nowhere by the looks of things. Um, looks like a decision is being made. Yes, a decision is being made. And I think that it's, it's in regards to two paths. Do I stay here where there's no growth or do I head in the direction where there is going to be growth? Do I head to more fertile ground? So I feel like we have somebody that has this new... Uh, idea, you know, this new vision, this new thought, this new way being presented to them. And they have this choice to go. And I think that somebody is going to go. It's time to go. It is. And they, they see that, you know, beyond this barrier, there's a, there's a bigger, broader horizon. You know, there's, there's more opportunities beyond this barrier. I think there's no looking back. I can't look back anymore. I mean, that's what I see. I, I really can't look back. I think there is some regrets though. I do feel like there is some regrets. There's probably a little bit of sadness that it went on this long, you know, that, that, uh, that this decision has to be made. You know, I don't think this is what anybody wanted to happen, but they know it's the right thing to do, however that plays out. Um, it's a sudden decision. Somebody could make it, be making a sudden decision to just, it's time to go. I mean, definitely this could be a sudden decision with these two cards. A sudden decision to go. Yeah, there's no more there's no more passion where they're at. It's done. It's gone south. It's over. There's no more desire where they've been. And they know that there's growth on, on the horizon. They do. They do. So I feel like somebody is, is headed out in search for a better opportunity, for a more passion. Somebody's deciding. The decision is being made that I have to give up this situation that has no more growth because I want the situation that is is full you know I want the opportunity that is alive I think that somebody has been holding on to a situation that probably has no more passion left there's no more there's no more desire right I mean the ace of wands reverse it's over it's over there's no more growth there's no more excitement Somebody has been weighed down by somebody or a situation that has really, like, stolen their energy. And it's like, no, 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 no. I, I want this passionate new life. I want it. I want it. So I feel like we have somebody here that has made a decision to just go. So, I mean, it's time to go. It's time for my new beginning. And I feel like somebody is going to, because endings happen. Endings bring new beginnings, right? I mean, that's when something dies, there's a rebirth. And that's what this is. We have an ending here that is bringing about a passionate new beginning. It's opening up a new path. Okay? Because somebody has made that stressful, painful decision to choose a new path. I'm not going to look back. I'm not going to stay here anymore. Whoever that is for, I do not know. But that is what is going on. I want to get an oracle card, but I don't know which deck I want to use. Well, I've seen to have put some of them away, so um, oh, let's go for this one right here. Somebody's been living in a situation that was untruthful. There was there was lies and there was deceit. I mean, there was. 
there was a lack of communication. They're deciding that it's time to go my own way. I'm better off on my own in search for my better opportunity than staying here That where it's not. This isn't right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. She has to go because she knows it's not right. Man or woman, okay? It doesn't really matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to work on my own abundance. I'm going to work on my own stability. I'm going to enjoy my life. I don't want to stay in this situation that just isn't right. So somebody is making a decision to head out. Oh God. The perfection of your life. Interesting. The perfection of your life. Have you ever seen have you ever seen a storm pictured from above? It can appear to be so beautiful and elegant. This is certainly different to the ground view, which can be quite a violent experience. So, too, there is a great beauty in your life right now. However, at this point in the natural process, you may be experiencing it, at, at, you may be experiencing it as anxiety-inducing rather than beautiful, and that makes complete sense with this card. You may sense it as internal chaos. You may feel it as something that is waiting to erupt with, from within. Remember I said an explosion? This is an eruption. Explosion, same thing. I said an explosion at the beginning. You may feel it as something that is waiting to erupt. From, I cannot speak. Is it Mercury retrograde? I don't know. Anyway, you may feel it as something that is waiting to erupt from within as a restlessness or, a, or an anxiety that you cannot quite articulate but sense vaguely nonetheless. It's funny because I cannot articulate. Perhaps the chaos is fully fledged and a person or situation in your life is causing all kinds of havoc, upheaval, or change and uncertainty in your world. It's kind of funny the interruptions I had that was causing all kinds of havoc. I had to get up and throw the phone out of the room. And then, you know, it's just very chaotic. Interesting. Perhaps the chaos is fully fledged and a person or situation in your life is causing all kinds of havoc, upheaval, or change and uncertainty in your world. Whether the chaos seems subtle, subtle, strong, internal, or external, this oracle brings the same message for you. All is unfolding according to perfect higher order. You are currently enduring a cosmic spiritual storm, which is having an impact on you. It is clearing things out, ruffling feathers, and preparing you for that lovely, super fresh, uplifting feeling that one experiences after the storm has finally passed. If you cannot believe there is anything happening, even at a subtle level, because you feel stuck, denied, bored, thwarted, or stale, this oracle brings you a message. No matter what appears to be, in truth, there is only the unfolding creative genius of the universe. You are not forgotten. You have not been looked over. You have not been denied found wanting or rejected as unworthy. The storm that needs to erupt is in your own heart. Do your liberating rain dance. Rage, weep, pray, dance, paint, or sing. Express whatever is needed, however is needed, to exor exercise the blocked energy in your heart. Then you will call on the powerful perfection of your life path as it aligns for the next creative turn of the spiral of life. Once again, you will trust and directly experience the flower of life unfolding within you and around you. Remember I said have faith and trust. We have a new beginning here. 
after a significant ending where it ends with like an eruption it's going to bring you down a new path honor your truth that's what this is about good luck